friends, it's Quenby, Grateful Queen, here on YouTube, and today I have a really fun collaboration video with my friend Tori over at Girly Girl Style. It's kind of a thrift store challenge. We've given ourselves 20 minutes to shop with only $20 for January 2020. So in this video, I'm gonna take you into the thrift store with me as I'm doing this 20 minute thrift store challenge, and then I'm gonna share this haul with you of the items that I got for $20. If we decided that we would go into one of our favorite thrift stores and shop for only 20 minutes with only $20 and see what we could find. Yeah, that's gonna be hard. Who goes to the thrift store for 20 minutes? I'm a little nervous about what I might be able to find, but I think it'll be really fun and I'm going to take you along with me and I'm gonna link Girly Girl's video down below so you can see what she was able to find with only $20 and 20 minutes. I really love Tori, so check out her video. She's really upbeat and fun and she has the best sense of style. She does a lot of vintage and she wears it really well, so definitely be sure to check out her video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Hi, I'm Quenby, and this is a channel all about reselling online. I've been selling on eBay for eight years and Poshmark for two years. I'm a part-time reseller, so this is just my part-time gig, but I really love reselling. I love working from home and running my own business, and I love the extra income. So I hope on this channel, you'll join our community and maybe get inspired to shop more secondhand at yard sales and thrift stores and estate sales, and maybe even resell. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, this challenge was hard. I do not recommend going into the thrift store for only 20 minutes with $20. My strategy was to really stay in one section. I did the dress section and then there were some shirts, tops next to it. So I did manage to get one, two, three, four, five, six items for $20. So I think I did pretty good, six items for $20, especially because I live in Northern California where the the thrift stores are expensive. I'm one hour north of San Francisco, so I do find a lot of great brands and styles, but my thrift stores are more expensive than a lot of other people's. Uh, find me on Instagram. I'm at Grateful Queen B, and there's a lot of talk about reselling. I like I get a lot of great information there. And I'm often envious of other people when they say that at the thrift store they can still get a pair of jeans for $3.99 or a dress. Um, it's not that cheap here. But I did make an extra effort and drive across town to a church thrift store that has lower prices. So I was hoping I would find some green tags because those were 50% off. And I did. That's how I managed to get this many items for only $20. So I'll tell you which ones I got for half off. If I remember correctly, the prices were $5 for a dress, $3.75 for a long sleeve top, and that's pretty much all I got. So that's what you need to know. But let me show you what I picked up for this fun and challenging thrift store challenge. So this first piece is a really cute top, and this is by the brand Style & Co. So if you don't know, these brands, what I'd call these more mature brands, do really well for me on eBay. Style & Co is one of my best sellers along with J. Jill and Chico's if it's in the a big size like an XL. So this is a button peasant top, but it has these great balloon sleeves and it's an ivory and burgundy plaid and it's got this really nice pleating in the back. It's kind of a longer tunic length and this was half off so I only had to pay two dollars for it around two dollars um, and this will do great for me on eBay 
This next piece is a classic denim chambray top. This brand is Cavallini. This is a size large, and it's got this great stone wash, acid wash, and it's plaid, faded, distressed denim blue. I think this is a lot of what people are looking for with these classic chambray tops. I tend to sell these really well on both eBay and Poshmark regardless of size or regardless of brand because these Western style denim chambray tops are really popular. I think they're kind of like a staple piece for your wardrobe. Everybody seems to have one of these in their closet. And this one was also half off. So that worked out really well for this challenge. This next piece is probably my favorite thing I picked up. This is by the brand DKNY, which is Donna Car in New York. That's a newer label though. Um, I don't go out of my way to find this brand. Um, I will put this on eBay because that's where I put my more mature items. And on Poshmark, I think we've got a younger, trendier demographic. I don't know that they're necessarily looking for DKNY. But let me tell you why I bought this top and what I love about it. So look at, um, this is white with a, with a blue pinstripe. So a really classic um, there. And it's made of viscose, so it's pretty soft. But look at this, it's a long top and look at the hemline. So it has this almost like a peplum hem or a drop waist. And it's got this asymmetrical hem. So that's just going to look really great on. Um, it does have that pinstripe. I can see in the camera that it's washing it out a little bit. But I think this is just a really fantastic piece that somebody's going to love. It's great career wear or just casual wear. And my best selling style on eBay is lag and look. L-A-G-E-N-L-O-O-K. If I can put lag and look in the title with an with an item, it sells really well and for more money for me. Now, if this were black or made of linen, it would be 100% a lag and look piece, but I might still put that in the title because of the shape of this and the longer length and the um, asymmetrical hem. Lag and look just means layering look. Um, it's really popular in Europe, but it's definitely come to the States. It's expensive clothing, but they do a lot of layering of different fabrics and different lengths. So because of the hem on this and the size and shape, I think it'll do well as a lag and look piece. And it's a size large, so that is really good. I cannot wait to watch Girly Girl Styles video and see, girl, how did you do with only 20 minutes and $20? It was a little stressful. I did not include the time that it took me to sort and to check out. That would have been absolutely impossible. It was hard enough to just have 20 minutes to shop, but. I oh, Jerry, you must subscribe to Grateful Queen. It's so amazing. I'm gonna go subscribe and turn on notifications. Okay, they're on. Did you do a thumbs up? Yes, I did a thumbs up. Wait, subscribe. Don't forget to turn on notifications and like. This right here is such a great dress, but it has a stain on it. I just hate that. I and mean, look at this. Look at the bleeding on that. It's just H&M. So beautiful, but look. Um, this is a Zara piece. I am very picky with the Zara I pick up. It has to be a really fantastic style or a unique piece because there's so much Zara out there and it just does not sell very well for me. However, this piece I feel really confident in because of the style. So it's a size large. It is a long black tunic tent dress with this um, silk scarf detail. So I think this is just fantastic. Again, I will list this as lag and look because this is definitely something that someone going for that layered artsy lag and look style would wear. So it's black and then I don't know if this is genuine silk, this wrap part because someone cut the material tag out 
And I can sometimes be fooled with polyester thinking it's silk, but it really does have that light silky feeling. And this wraps all the way around and then just layers like this. So um, I think that this piece will do really well. I'll put it on eBay and I'm gonna put this pretty high actually, you guys. I imagine I'm gonna put this up at about uh, 50 or 60 with best offer. I sell almost everything with best offer on eBay, but um, I really like that piece. It's sort of a midi length. I think that that's actually gonna be a piece that does really well. This is a fantastic brand that I don't know if a lot of people know about. I'm in Northern California, like I said, so I find a lot of really popular boho brands. This might be a boutique brand. I don't find it that often, but the brand is Pretty Angel. It says one size, but I will definitely be listing this as an XL. Um, this is really gorgeous. It is, I guess, a dress. It's a lightweight, long dress with layers and layers of lace and embroidery and little embroidery pieces coming off the end. So if you're not familiar with this brand, it's always done really well for me. So I suggest looking it up. It is what I would call a very romantic, Victorian, feminine brand. Things usually sell for me depending on how ornate the piece is and the size, because size in this particular brand, Pretty Angel, does, you know, large, extra large, 1X does really well. Um, but um, look at all this crochet floral detail. It's very flowy, very long with these side slits. Really gorgeous. This would be a great swim cover up or paired with leggings and some long necklaces. I think someone's going to love that. Um, this is a really nice piece by the brand, but you should look them up because they get crazy with crochet and lace and velvet and ribbon just like it's never too much with this brand and again I think I'm going to price this one around $50 and um, hold out for at least $40 because I think this is a spectacular piece from this brand. I had to pass on this tailor dress because it just had too much wash wear. Too bad. That would have been great for Valentine's Day. I do not recommend coming in for 20 minutes and 20 bucks. It was really hard, but really fun. Can't wait to show you guys what I got. And lastly, this is another brand I love. I can't believe I got all this for $20. One of the things I like about this challenge in particular, you guys, is that it really forced me to focus and pay attention to my cost of goods. I don't shop very often at the Goodwill Outlet bins where you pay by the pound. So it's hard for me to keep my cost of goods down. And because I knew I only had $20, I looked for a lot of things like this with the green tag that were going to be half off to stay within that $20 range. So um, it was a really good practice for me. This is a, a brand I sell quite often. The brand is Soma. It might be a little hard to see this, you guys, because it's black on black, S-O-M-A. They are a higher end um, intimates line. So it's mostly pajamas, um, but they also do a lot of sundresses. And this is a black tank dress with spaghetti straps and kind of this, um, I guess like a flower embellishment here. Um, empire waist, so it's it gets tight right under the chest. The way you'll know Soma is the feel. They are known for using a lot of modal and high quality like Pima cotton and spandex. So Soma's um, items feel amazing. And I usually just feel the fabric and I think, oh, that must be Soma, let me go look. And this was, so this stuff retails really high and I usually put it up around 
$30 with best offer and I'll get somewhere around 25 pretty easily I think for this piece. So there you have it, $20, 20 minutes in 2020. It was really hard. Um, I'd love to do it again and do like 60 minutes, $60. <laughs> I think that would be way easier. This, this was a little bit hard, but it was really fun. I'm going to link Tori's video from Girly Girl Style down below. So definitely be sure to check out her video. Leave a message in the comments and let me know how do you think I did for 20 bucks. I really appreciate you watching. Please remember to subscribe on the way out and join our community here on the channel. Bye guys, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Hit it, punch it.